They're gonna have a hell of a time swimming in there with all that foliage. Look alive. I'll uh, see what I can do. Nick. Hey, you, uh, got a sec? You all right, Nick? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um... They're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. You think, you feel. You're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his, and I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Is there any way we could separate you and Nick? Don't think I haven't tried. Lost near a month of my life last time I mustered up the courage to let someone play brain surgeon on me. No. This is how it's gonna be. Living with another man's name. Another man's life. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home. Friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Thanks. Look alive. Do something for you? Nick. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. <sighs> Real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. I have. I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul, 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories of the girl. My girl. 
They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl... She was real. She was beautiful. And innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winter's that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. It's probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across.